Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Almost reaching 21,000 subscribers, and I'm very, very excited. Thank you in advance. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, become friends with us, say hi, and we'll say hi back. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. Please continue liking, sharing, commenting and everything that you guys do. And continue, continue to support us. We're very, very grateful. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be very, very honored to react to whatever you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to I Got to Hell because I am a Catholic Christian, Dr. Zaki Naik. Christianity versus Islam debate. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Um, my name's Tanya. I work for Cisco. Uh, I'm not here to disagree with anything, but I've always had a lot of people, especially Muslims, well, not a lot of people, just Muslims, always telling me, because you're a Catholic, you're going to go to Jahannam, but we're Muslims, you need to convert and you will go to heaven. According to me, I'm a good Catholic. I try to be a good Catholic. I don't intentionally commit sin. But does that mean because I'm a Catholic, I'm going to go to hell? And if I'm a Muslim, I'm going to go to heaven? Sister asked a question that many of her Muslim friends say, because she's a Catholic, because she's a Christian, she will go to hell. That is it true that because she's a Christian, you will go to hell? Sister, according to me, if you're a true Christian, if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah, you shall go to Jannah. But, but, if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. Correct? Now, what you are following, I don't know. Are you following your church or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? If you are following your church, the chances of going to Jannam is very high. If you are following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah, inshallah, you shall go to Jannah. Now, if you read the Bible, there are sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I don't know how much you are well versed with the Bible. Now, all the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, are in red letter. Are in red, red letter. Yeah. Sister, do you believe Jesus to be God? Well, I'm a bit confused about that, so I'm not going to get into that. No, but I'm I asking just... yes or no. Well... Confused God. No, it's, it's not confusion, but I don't want to answer something I don't know. And it's not funny. I'm not saying it's you know or not. Sister, I'm not saying you know or not. What do you believe I'm asking? No, I do believe he's God. Yes, yes that's it. I'm not saying yes. what you know. You may not I be do. able to prove it. Yeah, Fine. I do. Sister, I'll tell you one thing. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any main intervention. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. Yes. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims, they are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is, sister, that most of the Christians, almost all, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is Almighty God. They believe he claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. There is not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. Sister, if you can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, anywhere from the Bible, in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. In fact, if you read the Bible, I'm not talking about you accepting I'll come to it. Or not. I'm I, not. I got my answer. I'm giving you. Yes. I'm, I, I got my answer. You got half the answer. I'm giving the complete answer, okay. Insha. You can go ahead. You got half the answer. Okay. I told you that if you're a true Christian, you shall go to Jannah. Yes. You don't know what a true Christian is. I'm giving you information about true Christian is. Okay. If you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. 
and my judgment is just for I seek not my will but the will of my father. Anyone who says I seek not my will but the will of Almighty God is a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, submitted his will to God. He was a Muslim. He never said he was God. It's clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John chapter 14 verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that the words that you hear are not mine but my father's who has sent me. And it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts chapter number 2 verse number 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So Jesus Christ is a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So from the Bible you come to know that Jesus Christ was one of the most beloved messengers of Almighty God. We love him, we respect him. Do we follow his teachings? If you compare what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Bible, I told that yesterday that we Muslims, we follow more of the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, according to the Gospel of Luke, he was circumcised on the eighth day. We Muslims are circumcised, most of the Christians are. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, you have to follow each and every law. Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse number 17. Everything of the Old Testament, you can't break one law or dot or a tittle. As I mentioned in my speech, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse number 8, in the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 2 to 5, and the book of Leviticus chapter number 11 verse number 7 to 8, that you should not have pork. We Muslims don't have pork, but most of the Christians have pork. It's mentioned in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse number 18, book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse number 1, you should not have alcohol. Muslims don't have alcohol, but Christians have alcohol. So if Christian means a person, who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. So if you become a true Christian and truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I go, shall I send him? It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that here shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Verbatim quotation from the Bible, King James Version. So Jesus Christ is prophesying about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you're a true Christian, if you truly believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you're a true Christian, you'll believe in Prophet Muhammad and inshallah you shall go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. There's something that's just flying by. It's like today I'm just being the same. But anyway, I really love the response in this video. It's the first time that I'm actually seeing Dr. Zakina answer a question like this. And I'm, I'm impressed. I'm shocked and impressed at the same time. And I'm glad she got the answer she was looking for, or to her question rather. So what do other Muslims have to say about that statement? About if you're a true Christian, then you find yourself in heaven. And I love how he further explained what it meant to be a true Christian. So how many of you think you're true Christians? How many of you do, you do you disagree with the definition of what a true Christian is? Otherwise, this was interesting to watch. If there's anything you guys would love me to react to, please drop the name or the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you guys suggest. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.